Ready? Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Chris Wise. I'm one of the owners at WTF Gallery and Cafe in Bangkok. And we are in our exhibition space. We've got two floors with two photographers right now. The photographers are part of a show called Nocturnes. Photographers are uh, Penji Tanabun and Pedak. And they are photographers who are friends with and attendees of the nightlife event in Bangkok called Dude Sweep. And they also go to a lot of parties in Bangkok and they basically capture the nightlife. The mood of the nightlife, the idea of what it's like to be partying young, night out in the town. And so we have a whole view of their work here and a view of that life. Each of the photographers do it in a very different way. One is much more full on, intense, sort of the direct high beam of the music, and that's uh, Pengi. And then Paduk is a bit more about the quiet, sort of after party mood or a lull in the activities, a little bit more quiet, a little bit more documentary. But both give a very interesting angle on you know, what it's like to go out, experience music, be with your friends, have a great time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speak now. Yeah. OK. Yeah. So um, basically, Paduk's work, you can see, is not totally focused on a portrait or the idea of an individual at a night out in town. She basically uses details and quirky elements to basically allow a viewer to kind of put themselves in any picture whatsoever. And also just kind of the idea that it's not the, the, the uh, idea of nightlife is not the same as a normal everyday thing. So she's definitely finding the eccentricities and the strange things that happen when you're out at night, like another world. Um, she, we talk about how that her work is like the parentheses to a night out. It's the preparation, you're at home, you're getting ready. And then Pengi's upstairs is the content, the middle of the night. And then the other end of the parentheses is Pedak also. It's like when you're finished, you're exhausted. In French, we'd say it's the denouement of everything. It's the end of it. You're just sort of collapsing and ready to go home and having the great memories of the night out. So there's a quirkiness, a kind of an expectation. We also talk about how it's a little bit like you're catching a glimpse of something. It's not like you have a long time to look at it. You just see a little bit of an instant of it. It might be someone's taking a tambourine and they're dancing with a tambourine on your leg, but you don't even see their face. And they have swirling hair. This is one of the nicest images, I think, where it's basically, it's like somebody reaching for the stars. You know, a night of kind of expectation and drama, and you have this wonderful sort of sparkly sky that this person is interacting with. And then again, just strange details of photography, tequila shots, uh, smoking, fantastic red bustier, and that wonderful image of a lion in a room that is, has the arms of a man, which is, again, just a simple gesture, simple, really fun thing. But again, those are the kind of things that you see in a night out. Again, sort of glimpses of the night. Here's more of a standard portrait. But just the, 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 the total of all of the work sort of brings together all of these different emotions and feelings of a, a night out. Could be in London, could be in Berlin, could be in Bangkok. Anywhere. So, uh, in the center of the room, we have a, a light box that acts as a screen for Pedak's black and white work. And so, what we've done is dim all the lights and use that as a way for the gallery goer, the audience, to, to take a look at her a little bit more documentary style work. Here we have the work of uh, Peng Tanabun, and he's full on in your face with his camera and with the emotion of 
party night. You can see that he's very different from a dark board. He's kind of, it's almost like you're in the glare of the spotlight, in the glare of the, the strobe light. You can see people, I mean, just very rich and saturated colors. He uses the flash and color to give some extra emotion to the senses of being in a club, a night out. In the space, we kind of have done a different kind of the idea that there's certain, you know, randomness. We've kind of wrapped the pictures here. This one is framed and almost like a, a great old master's painting. You see just all these masses of people. And then we've got, these are kind of the, the DJ Hall of Fame. So these are some, you know, quite well-known DJs. Ken Aoki's in the upper left. Um, but again, just giving you these kind of great saturated portraits that you know, are pulsing almost as loud as the music would. But we created a series of spaces. So we have some different rooms. And so you can come in and see a sort of more detailed portrait of the nightlife goers. It's an intimate way for you to interact with them. It's uh, three portraits of lovers, plus an interesting sort of people watching, jealous people watching the lovers. But we've got these fantastic uh, giant inkjet prints that were provided by Canon, who's one of the sponsors of the show. And you know, I think it's a really wonderful thing where you see just the interaction of the couples, uh, a crazy night out, just completely abandoning, them, abandoning themselves inside the music. It's really wonderful. And we've been playing, so each, each of the room has a kind of a different idea. So you can zoom in on this thing. And we've got the ability to kind of have all of the people become one a little bit of yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a lot of energy yeah. in these yeah. photographs. Yeah. Exactly. So here we've taken you again, it's just the kind of crazy close-up detail of the emotion of the music, interacting also you see a lot more with uh, Pengi is that he really interacts with his subjects, and the subjects interact with him, so they know he's taking his picture. It's a kind of connection between him and, and the people in the pictures as well. Connection of just fantastic, kind of almost like a costume ball, just people showing their creativity in what they wear, how they gesture with the camera. You know, we've got robots, we've got nurses. Uh, Incredible ball gowns. And you just see, it's just a wonderful collection of the type of characters who go out. I mean, these images are primarily from Bangkok, so you just see, like, it's, this is come to Bangkok, you can have a night like this. <laughs> and the last room is uh, a fantastic portrait of. I'll just actually start over again. So in the last room, we've got a fantastic portrait of Steve Aoki, who was in uh, Bangkok a number of times. And he's inside the room there. And we've got the thing, and we've made it so that basically you go in, and it's so crowded that you actually cannot get into the room. basically brainstorm the idea together and then no uh, dude sweet worked with his team and uh, the, the groups that were supporting us uh, Canon and we got their installation artists to, to put put it all together but basically no and I we decided that we really wanted different themes a different presentation style for the two artists that really reflected their work and that would also be a really enjoyable kind of way for the audience to come and look at the work. So it's not simply 
photographs on a wall, but something that they can kind of participate in and accentuate the, the mood of the pictures. 